So good morning everyone. I welcome you here to another tutorial uh, on how to rationalize uh, the denominator under sets. To those of you that are new to this channel, just make sure that you subscribe and you hit the like button and also don't forget to share to others. So um, uh, I'm teaching you how to do uh, rationalize, rationalization of the denominator so this is very simple okay so let's start now we have been given root of 3 plus 1 over root of uh sorry 2 root uh 2 minus 5 so how do you do this question okay so the best way to go about this question is simply by using what we call the conjugate of the denominator okay so a so we have root of 3 plus 1 over 2 root 2 minus 5 like this. So I'm going to introduce the conjugate of the denominator. The conjugate simply means instead of putting a minus here, I'm going to put a positive so I've conjugated it even here I'm going to apply the same concept so I'm going to I'm going to put a positive like this okay now I'm going to multiply so what is square root of 3 multiplied by 2 root 2 so the answer is going to be 2 then this multiplied by this is simply 6, like this, plus root of 3 multiplied by uh, root of 5, the answer is root of 15, plus 1 multiplied by this, it is simply 2, root of 2, 1 multiplied by 5, it is simply root of 5 like that you say over our main interest is just to remove these radicals that are down there so this is the best way to remove them okay then we say then we say that root of 2 multiplied by 2 the answer is going to be 4 because 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 then root of 2 multiplied by root of 2, the answer is just 2 like this, minus, okay, uh, plus this multiplied by this is just 2, then root 10 like this. Then this multiplied by this, it is just negative 2 root of 10, then negative 5 multiplied by this, it is just negative 5. The radicals are going to cancel like this. Then we are going to have 2 root 6 plus um, root 15 like this plus 2 root 2 plus root of 5. Okay. Like this then we are going to say 4 multiplied by 2 it's going to be 8 so this is 8 then automatically we know that this is going to give us a 0 okay because if we subtract this 0 then we're going to have a minus 5 here so we're going to have something like 8 minus 5 the answer is going to be 3 and therefore this is our final answer for a Okay, let's get to B. B, they are saying root of 3 minus root of 2 over 7 plus 4 root of 3. The same concept applies. We are going to introduce the conjugate. So the conjugate of the denominator is simply by introducing a negative the opposite 
so it will be a uh, four root uh, three like this over like this same concept even down there okay like this all right then we do the multiplication this multiplied by this uh this uh no, where are we all right so we are multiplying this by that so this multiplied by this okay the answer is going to be seven root three root three multiplied by this the answer is going to be minus four radical and radical are going to cancel therefore we are going to have a three inside okay like that then this multiplied by this we are going to have a negative seven root of two then this multiplied by this we are going to have a positive four root of six like this okay because this multiplied by this root six then the four the negative and the negative are going to multiply, they will become positive like this. Then we say over over 7 multiplied by 7, this is 49. 7 multiplied by uh, 4, this is minus 28 root of uh, 3 like this. Then we say 4 multiplied by 7, the answer is 28, root of 3. Then this multiplied by this, remember, the minus takes over. But then the 4 and the 4 are going to multiply, the answer is going to be 16. The root and the root to multiply, the answer is going to be 3 like this. Then we are going to have something like 7 root of 3 minus this is going to be a 12 minus 7 root of 2 plus 4 root of 6 like this then down here remember this and that will cancel what is 16 multiplied by 3 the answer is 48 so it will be 49 minus 48 when we subtract this we'll get one and therefore our final answer is just 7 root of 3 um, minus minus 12 minus 7 root of 2 plus 4 root of 6 Okay, like this. All right, very simple. Which other question? Okay, so let's go to C. We see what we're going to do. C is saying we have one plus root of 2 over 3 minus 2 root 2 like this we introduce the conjugate same concept it's going to be 3 plus 2 root of 2 like this over the same concept applies even here, 3 plus 2 root of 2. So this is just the conjugate. It's quite simple. 1 multiplied by 3. 3 plus 1 multiplied by this. It's 2 root 2. This multiplied by this. It's just 3 k root 2. 2 multiplied by this, the answer is simply this 2. Radical multiplied by radical, it is simply 2. Alright. 
3 multiplied by 3, 9. Uh, 3 multiplied by this, the answer is positive, 6 root of 2. Negative 2 root 2, by this, the answer is minus 6 uh, root 2. This multiplied by this, it's minus. 2 multiplied by 2, it's 4. Radical cancel, so it will be 2 here. Our answer is going to be 3 plus 2 root 2 plus 3 root 2 plus 4 over this is going to be a 0 therefore we are going to have 9 minus 8 now see what's happening we have 3 plus 4, we have a 7 here, plus, since these are like terms, we have a 2 in here, we have a 2 in here, we are just going to add these two, these numbers that are outside. And when we add the numbers which are outside, we are going to get a 5 root of 2 our final answer so this is our final answer for this particular question well let's get to another question which happens to be uh, D so I'm going to leave D E and F for you you will solve those ones um, let me see mm, okay let me solve even the last question, which happens to be simple. So I want to leave you with D, E, and F for practice. So let me do the last question so that at least maybe you didn't understand in the first place to be able to understand this one. We have 1 over root of 7. So the same concept, root of 7 here, root of 7 here. You multiply this, your answer is simply root of 7 over... 7 like this so for that one it was quite simple so i'm going to leave you with this one as your work this one is your work and this one as your work so make sure that you inbox me on that whatsapp line these are my details on whatsapp when you get it right make sure that you send the answer i will be able to respond to you so thank you so much. Make sure that you subscribe and you'll be able to receive almost every update of every video that I upload on this channel. Thank you so much.